least welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. Here we have another video for you guys. This is a spell particularly to bring to you more abundance, more money, and of course, amplifying it and taking a few more steps to be able to overpower any type of competition. So you can do this not just to bring money and abundance to you, but as an example, if you have difficulty at work or if people don't necessarily like you at work, you can use this spell that is going to help you enhance your likability and be able to have people that actually look out for you, maybe even open doors up for you. So this is a very powerful spell. The ingredients for some of you may be very easy to find. You probably have them at home. For others of you, it may be challenging, but if you go to any type of botanical shop to get some of the ingredients, I'm sure you'll be able to find, especially if they are Latin-based uh, botanical shops. All right, so let's get into it. What are you going to need? You're going to be needing a green candle, primarily a dark green candle. You want to use a sachet bag. Uh, it could be gold or orange. We're going to use orange because remember, orange is always a very strong amplifier to be, be able to bring to us. It, it, it enhances the attraction. So that's the reason why we're going to be using an orange one. You're going to be also needing a horseshoe. Now, you can find these. You can order these online. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them anywhere. But I would suggest for you guys to go to a botanical shop or a Latin-based botan botanical shop because they have them there. And a lot of the people that run those businesses actually know people that <clears throat> these are uh, used horseshoes. And that's what we want. We want the energy of an actual horse using these horseshoes because it brings, we're able to bring all of that magical juice into this spell work. Now, I primarily, I know people that actually, uh, train horses so i get them from that person and this one is actually uh it's been used with a horse that actually has won races so it amplifies it takes it to a whole nother level if you can like i said you can find the horseshoes online doesn't matter but if you really want to go that extra mile remember the effort that we put into our spell work is how great and how strong we'll get the results now what you're also going to be needing is you're going to be needing some Holy water, if you don't have holy water, you can get any type of consecrated water or perhaps uh, for some of you guys, if you don't have consecrated water, perhaps moon water, that's going to help as well. Now, another ingredient that might be a, a bit for some of you guys, a bit uh, difficult to find is siete machos. Now, like I said, if you have a botanical shop that is Latin based, you'll be able to find that on there. You're going to need some cinnamon, some nutmeg and also a cinnamon stick and obviously any type of money oil now you can find these money oils on my online store you can find all of these ingredients on the description link below on our shopify okay now when we're talking about herbs we're going to be using some five finger five finger grass and we're going to be using some dragon's blood resin as you guys know Dragon blood is a resin that we often use, whether it's the powder or the oil. It's very powerful when it comes to dominions, when it comes to having control over any type of situation and to empower you, to strengthen you, um, not only on a vibrational level, but in the psyche of others, you're able to dominate them. So again, we're using some dragon's blood resin that we're going to be using and incorporating in the bill. Now, this is a two-step process. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you already know how that works. We begin the process of the ritual uh, with a few steps. After that, there is a process that needs to happen, which is a three-day process. After those three-day process has taken place, then we conclude it by sealing it, and I will take you step by step. So let's get into it. This is what we're going to do. Now, like I said, you want to get yourself the horseshoe and you're going to anoint it with the consecrated water or with the holy water if you're using holy water you want to uh, anoint it at the very <clears throat> at the very ends and in the center uh, as you guys know the reason why we're doing this is obviously holy water is uh, blessed water and you're using or incorporating the spirits of 
whatever it is that you practice, you want to ask them to step forward as an example, spirit guides and ancestors, my ascended masters. I ask you to please step forward to guide us in this spell that is about to commence. Once you have added the holy water to the horseshoe, you want to get yourself the green candle and what you want to do on it, you're going to write down your first name, last name and date of birth on top of the candle. You don't need a very big candle. It doesn't have to be a seven day candle because this the first step is rather quick. So you can get yourself a dark candle like this one. Make sure to bless it and consecrate it before you actually use it. Um, once you have put your first name, last name and date of birth, you want to write over it um, <clears throat> a statement that has to do with either money, success or abundance. It could be as easy as success comes to me easily and effortlessly. For others of you, money, money comes to me. Um, if you want to empower or you want to be more liked, you can put, I am a magnet to all that I wish or everything that I desire. Once you do that, what we're going to do now is we're going to get some of the uh, money oil. Now you can get any type of uh, money oil, any type of Van Van oil. Um, I myself, I'm going to be using the money, uh, money drawings oil that we use or that we sell on my online store. And you're going to add a few drops. All right. So now we're going to incorporate a little bit of the cinnamon powder in this candle. You don't need very much. Once you do that, you're going to add a bit of nutmeg oil. I mean, uh, powder. Once you do that, we're going to add a little bit of the, a little bit of the Siete Machos. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know what Siete Machos uh, cologne is used for. It is used to have any type of dominions over any type of situation. It empowers you and strengthens you as well as it serves as an attraction um, cologne. So you want to add a little bit of that on there. Now, if you really want to amp it a bit, you want to add a bit of domination oil here. We want to be in control of the situation. We want to be in control of the opportunities that come our way. We want to be uh, completely focused on what it is that we're drawing in with facilitation, of course. Now, once that is done, shake it a bit. Now, you're going to bless it. You can bless it however you want to bless it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this candle. I empower and enhance the energies of the horseshoe. I call upon all my guides and my ascended masters to please step forward and guide me in empowering and strengthening this ritual that is about to commence. All right, once that is done, you're going to get a bit of your dragon's blood resin here. And we're going to add it on there. Now, what you're going to do now is we're going to put that to the side for a bit. You're going to get yourself a dollar bill. Now, we're using the dollar bill as a um, as a vehicle. We're using it. It's serving as a vehicle to bring to us what we're asking for. Now, you want to get a, uh, a dollar bill. It can be any domination, but com to be completely honest, I've seen massive uh, results with dollar bills. So get yourself a dollar bill. And what you're going to do is you're going to write down, <clears throat> as you guys can see here, let me show you. You're going to write down Psalms 18 verses 19 and 20. Okay. So you're going to write down, if you don't know what the Psalms uh, 18 is or the verses, you can look it up online. Psalms 18 verses 19 and 20. All right. Once that is done, what you're going to do is once you've written down the Psalms, you want to pass this dollar bill all over your body. You're going to start with your hands. You're going to rub it all over and you're going to start passing it all over your body. Why are we doing this? Because we are integrating our energy. We are empowering it. Of course, there's going to be <laughs> more steps that follow that will enhance and pull towards this bill your energy. But you want to start off, you want to make sure that you're doing this focused and intentionally putting that intention. Be clear on your intentions of why you're doing this or what results you're looking for. So once that is done, what you're going to do now 
is you're going to get some of the domination oil. If you're not using domination oil, that's okay. You can add you can add the Siete Machos cologne in this process. But I suggest just use the domination oil for now because it is a process that we're going to do, that we're going to need to take, okay? So once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to lift the candle and you're going to put it right at the center, as you guys can see, right at the center of your plate or tray. You're going to have the horseshoe, the candle, and the dollar bill under the candle. Why are we doing this? Because you are beginning the process of this spell work. We're going to light this candle and you're going to let it burn out completely. This is why I tell you guys, you don't need a seven day candle. The quicker it burns, the better. Just don't use tea lights. Use a little, a little bigger one. So you're going to light this candle and you're going to allow it to do what it has to do. Okay. Once that is done and once this candle is extinguished, then the next step is you're going to get the dollar bill. You're going to get the dollar bill. You're going to hold it in your hands and you're going to read Psalms 20 verse 5, five times. Now, like I said, if you guys don't know the Psalms, I will make sure to write them down on the description box below so you guys can find that on there. So you're going to read Psalms 20 verse 5, five times. Once that is done, you're going to put the dollar, turning the dollar towards you, putting your energy, calling forth for whatever it is that you're wanting to experience. As an example, I am starting to draw more attention of my higher superiors. They are amazed at my work performance. I am shining, I am in a bright light, and I am blessed and I am thankful. For those of you guys that are doing this primarily just for money, I welcome fortune, abundance, and success in all my endeavors. Money comes to me and flows to me easily and effortlessly. Once you do that and you fold it, your dollar, like this, for the next coming three days, you're going to put this dollar, you're going to put this dollar in your left shoe. So what I mean by this is put the dollar inside whatever shoe that you're going to be using for the next three days. You're going to put it in there. You're not going to take it out for nothing. OK, if you go to the gym, if you work out, if you whatever it is that you do, it does not matter. Basically, the more it has your energy, the more obviously you sweat, whatever it is, it's going to empower it that much more. So, again, you're not going to take it out for three days. You're going to leave it on your left shoe. Once that is done and the three days are up, you're going to take this dollar out. And once you've taken it out, once it has all of your energy for those three days, this is where you're going to add the money oil, whatever money oil that you're using. You want to dab it in each corner, each corner of the dollar bill. Okay. Once that is done, you're going to add a bit of the cologne. And I suggest for you guys to rub it right in the center of the cologne, uh, right in the center of the dollar bill, I mean, the Siete Machos. Then you're going to add the cinnamon powder on this. And then you're going to sprinkle some nutmeg. Once you've done this, you're going to then get the cinnamon stick and you're going to fold the dollar bill towards you. Okay, you're bringing this towards you. You're going to twist it around until you make it like this. Once you've done this, then you're going to add or put it, I should say, you're going to put it in your sachet bag. Then you want to go back and add a little bit more of dragon's blood resin in here. You're going to close it up and you're going to put this in your purse. If you're a guy, you can put this inside your wallet, but you have to carry it with you. Okay. Like I said, once you've used this and, and you'll start to notice probably even within the first or second day that you're that you're basically stepping on this dollar bill with your left foot, you're going to start to notice that things become much more easy for you. You start to notice that um, you're being more liked, you're being more well received and opportunities are going to start to show up. Now, the more you carry this in your purse or in your wallet, the stronger it becomes. 
Once you feel that it's run its course, which it usually does after about four to six months, then you can do the same process with the same dollar bill with the same cinnamon stick. And you're going to notice that the more you use this, the more often you use it, the more it becomes like literally a magical magnet. It starts to bring to you a lot of abundance. Now, I forgot to mention, it is important that once you've put the cinnamon and the dollar into the sachet bag, this is where you would add some of the five finger grass. Five finger grass is very powerful when it comes to blessings, when it comes to um, even uh, unexpected blessings that come your way. So you wanna add a bit of the five finger grass uh, herb on here. And like I said, put it in your wallet, put it in your purse. You really start to notice that money starts to come to you very easily. Also, for some of you guys, if you start to notice like major, um, major momentum when it comes to your finances and money coming in very quickly, if you feel that you are definitely becoming a magnet and you're embodying that energy, I would be, I, I would encourage you guys to maybe try your chance at any of the games of luck or of the games of chance because it does bring in a lot of opportunities. I've had some clients have uh, major uh, shakeups when it comes to like winning, winnings, anything that has to do with uh, games of chance. So again, I haven't, I didn't do the whole process here because I am doing this for a client. But again, I pretty much gave you the lowdown. And if you have any questions or anything common below, let me know if you try this out, come back, let us know what your results were so that you can encourage others to try it out. And what do we do with the horseshoe after the whole spell is completed? Keep it in your altar or keep it in any safe way. What I would, uh, what I tell my clients is keep it in a green cloth where you can put this either by your bed or in your, like I said, in your altar. If you don't have an altar, you can keep this by your bedside. It's always going to be drawing in a lot of abundance, a lot of success. You can also put it in a wooden box with the green cloth on it and put it on a box and just a wooden box, I should say, and just keep it there for safekeeping until you decide to do this spell again. You can always integrate horseshoe spells in anything that has to do with chances or games of chance, as well as money, success, fame, whatever it is that you're looking for, you can definitely use this horseshoe. The more you use it, the more you empower it with your energy. I want to wish you guys the very best. And like I said, if you guys don't know those Psalms, check the description box. I will definitely put that on there. I want to wish you the guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.